Hi, welcome to Meek Electronics. Welcome back to Meek Electronics. Today we're looking at a USB-C to lightning charging cable that broke when it was pulled out of a charger plug. These failures are very common, but rather than throwing it away, let's explore what's inside, how the connector is wired, and whether we can repair it. As we open the USB-C plug, we can see the internal construction. Inside, there's a small PCB, a printed circuit board. This PCB carries the USB-C pins that connect to the cable wires. USB-C has 24 pins in total, but in simple charging cables like this one, only a handful of them are actually used. Here, we can see just four solder pads being used. V-Bus, power, the red wire, usually plus five volt, the black wire, return path, D plus and D minus, the green and white wires used for USB 2.0 data. The rest of the pins are left unconnected because this cable only supports charging and USB 2.0 speeds, not full USB-C data transfer. USB-C is symmetrical and reversible, which is why it has so many pins. But for basic charging, the pins are mirrored on each side, so the cable works in either orientation. That's why this cable only connects four wires, the minimum needed to deliver charging and USB 2.0 communication. Unfortunately, the mechanical stress of being pulled out has ripped the connector pins straight off the PCB. Once the pads lift, it's nearly impossible to reattach them reliably. That means this connector is scrap. Replace the USB-C connector and PCB. These are available online from places like eBay, Amazon, or AliExpress. You desolder the old one and solder in a new PCB and housing. Convert the cable to USB-A. Since the wiring is the same, we can strip back the cable and attach a standard USB-A connector instead. That's what I'll do today.
So today we took a broken USB-C to lightning cable, opened it up, learned how the connector works, and repaired it into a working USB-A cable. Hopefully this shows you that with a bit of soldering and understanding of how USB wiring works, you can save cables instead of throwing them away. If you enjoyed this repair and want more electronics deep dives, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out more videos here on Meek Electronics.